In this Daily Drop, I'm going to talk about the teaser trailer for the next Joker movie, Foley Adu. Did I pronounce that correctly? Well, if I didn't, I apologize. So let's go. All right, here we are. It's another day and another Daily Drop. And this morning when I woke up and I was going through the swiping or the scrolling or whatever you call it, I saw a link to a preview or a trailer, as we call them, a teaser trailer for the next Joker movie. And as you probably know, the 2019 movie with Joaquin Phoenix was, well, it was sort of a modern day taxi driver, at least in my opinion, to a degree. And obviously it was an origin story. He won the Academy Award for Best Actor. And it's the type of movie I tend to like. It's not the only type of movie that I like, but I liked it very much. And it was dark and it was moody and it was very well acted. And it wasn't lots of violence in the traditional way, in the Marvel way that we would normally see. But it spoke to me, and the cinematography by Lawrence Larry Schur was outstanding. So I clicked on the link, and what was I presented with? I was presented with what is, in my opinion, personally, one of the best teaser or trailers, teaser trailers that I have seen in a very, very long time. It's uh, just under two and a half minutes long. And from the get-go with the song, with the visuals, and Larry Schur is doing it again, it's just a beautiful, beautiful film. You can tell that. Every frame. Mm. Okay, that's going on shot deck, which is his brainchild anyway. But we're going to obviously be seeing those frames on there at a certain point. And the use of color. I mean, it's a lot to unpack. And I've watched the trailer three or four times already. But when you are looking at things, it's very hard to distinguish, which I think is great, the difference between what is actual reality and what is fantasy or in somebody's head. And the scene where you see the umbrellas where he's being led either into or out of jail or to the jail yard or whatever it is, if you look at the wardens, the people, the prison guards, and you see the umbrellas, which is already a strange view to be seeing, they look like they're just regular black umbrellas. And then we see this overhead aerial shot with all of this color and just amazing. Lady Gaga playing Harley Quinn and that version of that character. And what I really love, besides the visuals and the music and the pacing of the trailer, is the fact that the trailer doesn't seem to give away the entire movie. And to me, that is the mark of a great trailer that you don't know what the whole film's about. And even if you watch it multiple times, you're seeing new things, but you're not getting the entire film. And I really hate it when I watch a two to three minute trailer and I've seen the entire movie. I know exactly what it's going to be. I don't feel that way about this trailer. And I don't think I've ever done an episode of The Daily Drop about a trailer. So that says a lot. October 4th, 2024, here in the States, it's coming out. I'm really looking forward to this movie. And I think whoever cut the trailer did a fantastic job. The choice of music, the pacing, everything else. I think it's going to be a great film. I'm excited to see it. I'll put a link, of course, in the description to the trailer. If you can, come back to here, to this site, to this episode, and let me know what you think about it. I'd love to hear people's comments and reactions after they've watched it once, twice, three or four times. Don't forget to, and to, and I'll see you on the next episode of The Daily Drop.